Good morning, everybody. Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. Today, I want to touch on a, a homeless subject that uh, doesn't get any attention. And the reason why it doesn't get any attention is because people aren't made aware of what's happening to a lot of camps. Uh, in a lot of areas, uh, gangs, also very dangerous criminals that are armed. They come into these these camps and intimidate everybody. And, and sometimes they charge a rent just to stay on city property. And, and so these are the harmful folks uh, that prey upon our seniors, our young adults, our families that are living on the streets. And the reason why I bring this up is because I'm currently having an issue with um, a neighborhood bully here. And he's been through the camp and he's one that I've dealt with in the past. And I actually put him in jail for a year. And so he's back. Yeah, he's terribly stupid, but uh, <laughs> uh, Bobby, he's a known thief. He's a felon. Uh, he. When I caught him uh, a number of years ago, he was literally breaking in. He was inside the property of a business that I knew was closed. And so, you know, I made sure that police got him and the business uh, became aware of me being homeless out here and they started becoming friendly. And so that's that was how I started the good neighbor policy by sh uh, letting folks and the businesses know here that I'm not the threat. I am not going to be doing harm to you. If I see something, I'm going to say something to you. But anyway, Bobby, uh, he's been a problem here uh, for a number of weeks. Uh, he's um, antagonized some of the lady folks here. Um, and then yesterday, well, the other day, Monday, uh, when we're putting in those new porta potties, well, the city, uh, city uh, administrator was down here, and lo and behold, Bobby shows up, he, and he he's one of the the real big problems here in Oakland. Uh, he drives a white Ford F one fifty, a ninety ish with an eight foot bed. It's white color, uh, and Bobby is an illegal dumper. He goes picks up trash from people's places. He charges a fee, and then. He comes down here and just so that you folks can uh, see what he's he's done I'm gonna walk down to the trash pile that he's created in just about two weeks and we had a city official down here like I said uh, on Monday and we were talking and he's been telling me no that uh, the um, trash dumpster was for everybody and not for the camp. So we had an argument about that. And then he saw me talking with the city administrator, the city official. He went over, talked to them, and they snapped a picture of him. So uh, they're not real happy with him either because they know that he's created all of this down here. He's, he's a big problem. And when you see what he's done in two weeks, you, you're going to be surprised. But he that's what he does. He charges residents 100 to 200 dollars in delivery fees or dumping fees, and then plus his time for everything else. But anyway, I'm almost here, and city's been really slow. Also, um, we tried to talk to Oakland Police Department on this bully. Oakland Police Department, their attitude is, well, he hasn't really done anything. He's just talking. We can't do anything. But uh, yesterday he destroyed two crates of food that we had out. I mean, he literally took them and tossed them all over the street. But behind me, this is Bobby. Bobby created all of this, all of that in two weeks. Him himself, because we've been watching him and we've been telling him to stop doing that. And then we're, we now have a city official who took his picture. So he's, he's known and he's mad at me 
for turning him in. He's mad at me, so he's trying to get even with me. Yesterday, uh, he was attempting to throw uh, something at me, and one of my ladies here, you know, she intercepted him. She hit him with a bag of beans before he could throw his can at me. But uh, police won't deal with this because they said there's no victims yet. He has to actually do something. Well, he did something yesterday and the police don't give a shit. So, <clears throat> one of the reasons why this encampment is safe is because of me, because I deal with these problems. Uh, we've had gangs in here trying to uh, charge rent. Didn't happen, I got rid of them. <clears throat> we've had bullies like this. You know, they're far and few. But I get rid of them. Then we have some personalities that think they're somebody. And they're all gone. So today I laid out a, a plan because I know Bobby's going to be back. And he's going to cause some problems because we got food on the table. He's going to come here. He's going to throw it all out in the street like he did yesterday. You know, we recovered a bunch of it. And but, but it's, he shouldn't be doing that. It's not his. It's not his call. So we're going to deal with him. With one of the first things that we're going to do. Sorry, folks. We get that all the time. Uh, one of the first things we're going to do, we're going to try and talk him down to keep him from doing what he's going to do we kn i know he's going to do it then the, ne the next step once he puts hands on any of our property or comes across this k-rail barrier he's going to get oc we're going to oc the crap out of him and that's just one that i'm carrying on me right now but i'm going to carry more and then on top of that if he decides that the OC because Bobby is on meth he's almost always on meth he he'll sit in his truck right here underneath all of our 4k cameras you see the camera behind me yeah, that one it's kind of broken right now from the storm but that camera records everything as does that camera way in the in the back and they have a lot of coverage here so everything yesterday was recorded and documented for prosecution and I don't like having to do this you know but we need to keep the camp safe otherwise what ends up happening because we see it happening in, in camps all over Oakland the gangs start running the camps they start charging people for everything just for being there and occupying space, food, drink, leaving your your spot so you can go use the bathroom. You know, they charge for everything, a lot of these gangs and the hoodlums that are the street current criminals. And so very few camps are, are like this where we stand up to these bullies. And across the street, everybody's armed. They carry a gun. They watch us over here. They keep us safe. And you see that car back there? There's usually somebody in it with a gun. So, yeah. And there's good reason why those, those guards are there. It's not for us. It's for what they protect on the other side of those walls. So anyway, that's what's going on this morning. We're hoping for a, a peaceful outcome with Bobby. And, but Bobby is one of those, he's he's a neighborhood bully. He bullies a lot of the, the folks down the street, especially the women. He harasses the women to no end. And he, he illegal, illegally dumps all sorts of stuff all over, not only our camp, but also the adjoining streets around us. So he's a huge problem for Oakland, but now Oakland 
has his picture and has spoken to him, to him directly now as of Monday. And he's mad about that. That's why he's really out to get me right now. But you know, something like that, it's going to get him really hurt, unfortunately. Because a lot of people have tried. And I don't want to do this. But, folks, if I end up in jail tonight, you know why. So, thanks for tuning in today. We'll be right back. Hopefully.